Hello, and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome, everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. And today, I have a quick little project share to share with you guys. I enjoy creating composition notebooks, and so I did decorate another one up. And then I also made a little card. I have been invited to a few bridal shower cards, so I decided to create a card. And while I had the paper collection out, I decided to go ahead and decorate a notebook while I was doing that. And the paper collection is from Kaiser Craft. And the name of the paper collection is the Rosabella Collection. And I did find this paper at a rummage sale, a local rummage sale at a craft store. Um, she lets people purchase tables and then they can sell their unwanted or unloved craft supplies. And so I did pick up this paper collection. It was like one sheet, I think, of, of the whole collection. And then it also included a couple of the embellishments. And so I will first off show you the card that I created. And I did use Spellbinders cutting dies on this one. And I apologize, I was going to pull it out and I forgot to. Um, so if you are interested in knowing what cutting die I use for this, make sure you just comment below in the description box and I will look it up. But it's from Spellbinders. And so I did layer it with a pink cardstock, part of the paper collection. And then I cut out using the Spellbinders die just this frame and the inside piece. And at the bottom I used part of the embellishments that came with the paper collection. And it just says the best things to hold on to in life is each other. And then the little cherish glass bauble piece. And that also was part of the paper collection bits and pieces. And then on the inside I cut up the sentiment which was part of the paper collection. That says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. And then I put a little couple little die cuts in the corner. And so I'm using that one as a bridal shower card. And then here is my notebook, composition notebook that I created. And so I did use, I think, just one layer of the paper. And then I layered up on top of it a couple of different pieces and die cuts. I used the same die cut that I had used in the card. It shows up a little bit better here because I have it on gray cardstock. So you can kind of see it a little bit better. But I cut out one of the sentiments that was part of the paper collection. And I use a lot of flat back pearls. And then here is some fun little trim with beads on it. In the corner I just stuck one rose, mulberry paper, and then one of the glass baubles that has a flower in it and the little die cut clock that was part of the paper collection. And then the rest of it I just kind of layered laces and trims. I had a gathered trim on the corner edge here with some flat back pearls. Up at the top I had this fun little trim. I think this one came from Hobby Lobby. Flat back pearls. Again on the sides I have flat back pearls. And at the base I had this kind of layered. It's three layers. It's one piece of lace. But it's three layers. So I use that on the bottom. And then also this little rosette trim which that also is Hobby Lobby. On the side, I had this other trim right here, and this was some trim again I bought at Hobby Lobby, and then I went ahead and added the little ribbon roses on top of it, which I like how that turned out. And on the back side, just some basic decorating with some of that gathered trim, the same Hobby Lobby trim. There is pearls around the edges also. So again, I just wanted to thank everybody so much for watching today. Hopefully you are all doing well. And until next time, have a wonderful day and happy crafting.